The new instrument that we are getting is a high field NMR spectrometer, where NMR stands for nuclear magnetic resonance. And NMR is essentially a research version of MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, which is widely used in medicine. The business component of an NMR spectrometer is a very large superconducting magnet. And typically, the strength of the magnet is measured by the frequency of protons um, that resonate in that magnet. So we are getting an 800 megahertz instrument. By today's standards, this is considered to be a very high field instrument. And we're working on individual molecules. So essentially in NMR, as opposed to MRI, we are looking at individual molecules and how they interact with their uh, molecular partners. So we are not limited by any kind of samples. So we can take any protein, put it in the NMR test tube, and then add any kind of ligand, and then um, observe the binding response in our spectrum. One of the most exciting applications of NMR is in drug design. Um, NMR offers a very um, quick and easy way to test say if a given drug candidate binds to a protein or an enzyme, for example. If you can map the binding site and understand what this particular drug candidate is doing to the protein structure and dynamics, this in turn would enable you to design even better um, therapeutic agents. Anyone on campus would be able to use it. Um, in fact, one of the major rationales for acquiring this instrument was to promote interdisciplinary collaborations between faculty in many departments. If everything goes well, and it usually does, we expect to be fully operational in about a month.